Okay, I want to walk you through how I make my videos on my laptop. My laptop does not have a full duplex sound card. So that normally makes it pretty difficult to record the parts that are coming from, in my case, Ableton. So I had to create a workaround. But I kind of like this because now I can uh, you know, use my laptop to make this video without having to buy a bunch of extra equipment. So it keeps my, my studio uh, a little bit cleaner looking. So let me walk you through the equipment that, that you need to get the job done here. As far as hardware, the only thing that you're really going to need to purchase is uh, the iMic that you can get at the Apple Store. And that's just a USB device that uh, turns into a sound card with an input and output for your headset. That's how I'm recording this with a basic headset with a microphone on it. And then as far as software, you're going to want to download a program called Virtual Cable. Uh, that's for the PC. I know that there's also for the Mac a, uh, a program that will allow you to do this as well. I, when I remember it, I'll, I'll post the link. But for the PC, you use a Virtual Cable. And it also comes with a program called Audio Repeat. So let me basically tell you how I set up um, the audio preferences on each program. First, the program that you're actually trying to record, uh, in my case, is Ableton. Uh, I'm just going to go into my audio preferences, go to audio, and then I just choose uh, Virtual Cable 1 for my input and output. I do the exact same thing here in SoundForge. You could use Audacity or you could use another program that will record your, your screen audio. And like you see here, Virtual Cable 1 in both the input and output. And then I'm using Camtasia Studio, which I highly recommend. It's a really great program. Where is it? Oh, here we go. Down here. Okay, I go into my audio options here. Looks like it wants to keep me away from those audio options while I'm recording the video. But uh, basically, you're, you're going to want to set your Camtasia settings um, to the audio input being the iMic that you're using. So I have my headset plugged in the input is in my iMic and the output that's going to my headphones is plugged into my laptop, laptop's headphone out. And then I am using my audio repeat and that is taking the signal, the wave in from the virtual cable and sending it out to the Sigma output. That way I'm able to listen to uh, you know, the, the audio that is coming through on Ableton. Now, I don't hear my voice coming back, but that doesn't really matter. So you're getting the important information as far as recording. So in this case, the way I would set this up, and by the way, this is not normally how I set things up for recording a video. I, I use two screens. So that this would be my main screen, and I would have Ableton on full screen like so and this program and and this window here would be up in my second monitor but I wanted to kind of show you all on one screen so you can see what I'm doing so having a second monitor by the way is really uh, helpful and might be imperative although you can just when you record you can actually just choose the one window that you want to record. And you, you could probably get away with that as well. So when you're just getting ready to record your video, what I do is I'll start by recording in Camtasia. So I'd get that recording going. And then I do a four count. And once I count to four, I would hit arm here. So it'd be one, two, three, four, go. And now I would start talking and this is going to record anything that comes out of Ableton. So if I'm talking about 
uh, for example, the operator instrument, when I play operator, uh, let me click here, operator. Those notes that are being recorded are not re being recorded into Camtasia, but they're being recorded into SoundForge. So when the video is done, what I will actually do is stop stop the video and then I'll stop SoundForge and then I just would line it up. Essentially when the video stopped I would stop this and you see that I've got my audio right here. So I would save this audio and I'll just save it to desktop. And we'll just call this test video. Save it as wave. Just like so. So then when my video is done, when I go into editing here, The main video is going to show up here as video and audio. So basically this is going to be my voice and the video. And then I will take the audio and drag it in. It'll create a second audio track. And then I can just line that up at the point where I counted one, two, three, four. And then I can, um, I can edit out the part where I count it in. And then the audio will be lined up um, with the video. And that is how I make videos on my laptop. I know it's a little bit of a complex setup. So, you know, go ahead and watch this video a few times and see if you can uh, get it happening for you.